because of Jesus Christ, we celebrate Easter. And Easter is all about peace and hope. During several decades of church service, I've had some unforgettable moments while traveling. One occurred years ago while flying to the inauguration of a university president, where I was to offer the invocation. It was a short flight in a small two-engine plane. We were halfway to our destination when the right engine suddenly exploded, spewing flaming fuel all over the right side of the plane. The plane was on fire, careening to the earth in a spiral dive. I expected to die. Miraculously, the dive extinguished the fire. The pilot was able to restore power to the other engine and make a safe landing. And I actually made it to the inauguration on time. Throughout that dramatic, unexpected experience, I was surprisingly calm. My entire life flashed before me. While approaching what seemed to be certain death, I was at peace. I knew that my wife and I were sealed to each other eternally, and our children were sealed to us. Thanks to the Lord, I knew we would all be together again. I was at peace ready to meet my Maker. For the past year, we have all been dealing with dramatic and unexpected events. Amid such uncertainty, there is only one way to feel at peace, the real peace that passes all understanding. That peace is found in faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. When He suffered for our sins and weaknesses, died on the cross and rose again, the Savior rewrote humanity's story. Because of Him, we do not have to deal with our frailties, sins, and fears alone. Because of Him, death is not the end. Resurrection will come to all who have ever lived. Because of Him, Families can be together forever. Because of Jesus Christ, we celebrate Easter. And Easter is all about peace and hope. On this Palm Sunday, I invite you to make this coming week truly holy by remembering not just the palms that were waved to honor the entrance of Jesus into Jerusalem, but by remembering the palms of His hands. According to Isaiah, the Savior promised that He will never forget you, saying, Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Now, after all that Jesus Christ did for you, I invite you to do something this week to follow His teachings. You might make your prayers more earnest. You could forgive someone or help a friend in need. You can start today on a new spiritual quest. This Easter, I encourage you to focus on the Savior. If you are looking for a place to worship, please join with us. On Easter Sunday, the Worldwide General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints will be filled with Christ-centered messages and music. We will gather virtually to worship our Redeemer. Please join with us. Invite your friends. Jesus Christ lives. As our resurrected and atoning Savior, He stands ready to help us grow from the dramatic, unexpected events in our lives. At this Easter season, let us worship and praise Him for the peace, hope, light, and truth He brings to us.